Hi everybody, it's Chelsea and the last time I saw you I was reviewing the HP Sprocket printer, which is the portable wireless printer that was okay but I wasn't absolutely in love with. So today I am bringing you a new wireless printer that is also relatively small. It is the Canon Selfie CP1200 and we're just going to do a little unboxing and review and test of this product. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I believe I'm 60 people away from 10,000, which is insane. So I would really, really appreciate it. And let's just get straight into this review. So this is the Canon Selfie CP1200. It's still relatively small, not as small as the HP Sprocket that I was playing with. By the way, you guys, I did return that HP Sprocket uh, printer. It just... It was a little bit too glitchy for me when it comes to like setting up the Bluetooth and everything and then getting it to connect. It had a lot of really cool options on the app. There was a lot of really great editing that you could do there just straight directly within the app. But it just, it wasn't for me. And I know I said that when I bought it, it was like just over $100, but I returned it today and I got $134 back. So that's the price range that you're looking at, plus $9.99 for 20 sheets of paper. Whereas this thing is a little bit bigger, the pictures come out much larger and you get 108 sheets plus three things of ink for like $25. So it ends up being like, I think someone did the math for me and with the HP Sprocket it was about 50 cents per photo for a 2x3 picture about this big and for this one it's about 13 cents I believe for a 4x6 photograph. So the price efficiency is much better for this Canon selfie. Now let's just go ahead and turn it on. This little screen pops up. This printer itself is supposed to be wireless, however, it does not come with a battery. That is something I did find out that you do have to purchase separately, which, you know, I didn't know that initially, but whatever, we can deal with the plug. So we're just going to plug it in right here in the back, super easy. By the way, I do want to say that this video is not sponsored, however, this printer was a gift. So to the person that got this for me off my Amazon wish list and everything, Thank you so much. I seriously appreciate it. And this is going to be the printer that I end up keeping. So. so right here, we just turn it on. There's an on button. There's a little menu right here, but everything is really simple. With this printer, you do have to download an app on your phone as well, just like the HP Sprocket. And another big difference is that in this one, you don't just have to load in paper, you also have to load in ink cartridges, which with the HP Sprocket, there was no ink cartridges since everything was printed on zinc paper. However, it's worth it to me to have this one instead because the picture quality is just that much better in my opinion, and I do prefer having larger photos. So I did already download the app for this one so we wouldn't have to wait this time for it to load. It's called the Canon Print Inkjet Slash Selfie app and the main screen is relatively simple. There's like two buttons here. One says print photo and one says print document. Now this printer does not print standard 8x11 sheets of paper. This is just going to print 4x6 paper so if you are printing a document just know that it is going to be smaller than your average sheet of paper. So I'm going to go ahead and go to photo print. One of my subscribers they sent me an email and said that they wanted a couple they wanted me to send them a couple particular pictures from my Instagram which is amazing and such a cool way to show support. I actually want to get into selling some of my prints. Um, Thank you to Nesquik and Dusk and Robin and Jimmy who have already purchased a couple of mine. That just makes me so happy and it just shows the level of support that you guys like feel for me and shows that you guys actually appreciate my photography and that's just amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and print out um, one of the pictures that were requested. So this one does connect to your phone through wireless Wi-Fi versus Bluetooth, which was the HP Sprocket. This was really easy to set up. Um, 
you guys remember with the HP sprocket, it took me about five or six tries to try to get the Bluetooth to connect. That was with me having to do a hard reset on the printer itself and restarting my phone a couple times completely. It was really difficult co to connect the two, but this was super easy. I pulled up in the menu. This one actually comes with a booklet. You don't just have to go online to a site. So it was really easy to get to the menu. There's a wireless button right here. It automatically turns on the Wi-Fi, and then you go to your Wi-Fi on the phone, of course, and then just connect to the Canon selfie. Okay, so I found the picture that they wanted. It is this picture of me sitting in the white sand dunes. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that photo. I'm gonna hit next. And on this, I think the only thing that you can change is the border size. I've already printed out two photos here. This is a photo without a border. This is how it printed out. Jimmy actually took this of me and Bean when we were in New York City. And then this is an example of a photo with a border. These little tabs right here are the ones that come off, but even if you subtract those, it will have a small white border. I actually love the look of a border, and so I'm going to print those images with a border. I think it'll help if anyone ever decides to frame the photograph, or if they want to hang it on the wall, it just looks already framed. I like the look of a border, so I'm going to print with a border. Before you print, you do have to load in the paper. Um, it comes all the paper you have to put in this little cartridge right here, and then in order to load it into the printer, you have to slide this thing back. Okay, so this is the only weird part about this printer. I'm going to hold it up so that I can show you how it works, but this thing is going to need a little bit of room when you are using it. It's easy to store, but it does need some room. So this thing opens up right here, this compartment in the front, and then you just slide this directly in until it clicks, okay? But then not only is it going to need room in the front, it's going to need room in the back too, and you'll see why in just a second. So I'm going to go ahead and hit print. You see how it comes back through here? The paper actually loads through the back, and what it does is it prints the yellow layer first. It does yellow, blue, and red, so it's going to do the yellow first, pull it back through, print out the red layer, which you can see coming through right here. It's going to pull it back through again, and then it's going to add in the blues. And then for good measure, it does do one more layer, but I'm not sure what it is. Okay, so now that that's printed, this is what the photograph looks like with the border. I don't know if it comes across on camera, but this quality is actually amazing. The paper is glossy. You can get paper that turns into stickers, and you can get paper that is postcard material as well. This paper does come with the Canon logo on the back in case you were interested in that. I know I was because I was wondering if I could like write little notes on the back or not, but the answer is no. There is a logo on the back. But the quality of this photo is amazing, and I've actually got a couple other prints here that I've made. I think this would make a really cool collection on the wall, so if any of you guys are interested in a print, I know a lot of people sell their photography for like 30 bucks a print and up, but I'm going to always keep mine really low. I decided that all of my prints, they're just going to be $5. This is just a way to support my channel if you are interested in it. Definitely check out my Instagram. Um, take your pick of the prints that you want. I will make prints for you and they're just $5 each. So, And I will mail them to your house and take care of postage and all of that. So here is the first photo and that one is for Robin. And then I actually have four other envelopes right here. I'm not going to show the front because it has addresses on them. But these are four other photographs for people that have wanted a couple prints of mine. I actually have these photos up as well, which are the pictures I took in Spain from when I was really feeling myself that one day. If you have anything negative to say about me or my body, just keep it to yourself because I don't want to hear it and quite frankly, I don't care. But if you're interested in any of those, please let me know. I am going to go ahead and print out this second photo just so that you can see it again. Robin did request two separate photos. 
so I want to print out the second one. The second photo that they requested is a picture that I took a really long time ago. I'm hoping I still have the original of it. So once again, we're going to go to photo print on the app, go to camera roll. It's going to show me all my pictures and I'm just going to start scrolling to the top because this is an old photograph. I'm going to do this other one from the desert instead because it is just so cool. So I'm printing out two more pictures right now just to see how they look. I'm curious as to see if I can edit photos on a different app on my phone and then print them to this printer, what that will look like, if the quality will be good or not. So I did do some editing on a photo just to, you know, it's like a little experiment here. So let's see how that turns out. So this is a picture in the desert of a really cool couple of cactuses here. This is actually in San Diego, California, which is one of my favorite places in the country. And um, like I said, these little flaps on the sides do come off, so the border on the sides is a lot smaller than what it looks like. So here's the last photo for this video. This one didn't turn out exactly as I anticipated. I kind of anticipated it being long wise, so these pictures were bigger, but I can work on that and see how it goes. But these are two photographs of myself in Asheville. These are some of my favorite pictures um, that have ever been taken of me, actually, because I was just so happy on this day. And I, I like the separation here. I think this is actually really cool and that this could be super cool framed. So if you guys are interested in any of that, please let me know. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching this review here. I am super stoked on this printer. I am definitely going to keep this one. I will link it down in the description box below 100%. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe and I'll see you at 10,000.